Welcome back to The Blend. Add a bit of honey to your home. Take a look at this week's sweet pick of the litter. He loves attention and your home could be perfect. Here to tell us all about him and welcome him home, Kathy Jung, president of the Nevada SPCA, a no-kill animal shelter. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Adorable, right I over know. here in Sean's the, No <laughs> words so cute. Can, can describe how cute this little dog is. How did you and even the picture that you put up yeah. doesn't do this little dog justice. Exactly. Now, how did you get Bit O Honey? Um, he came to us because apparently the, the oh. former owners ran out of time for him. Aww. So, which is unfortunate because he's very sweet. Mm -hmm. He's very sweet. All he wants to do is cuddle. Doesn't have a whole lot of the Chihuahua tremors, but he's just very, very cute. I was going to say not yippy at all. No, sweet. not at all. Yeah. Really, once he gets into his comfort zone, he could stay there with you all afternoon. And I'm not sure if you, you saw it. He actually winked at camera three a second ago. Well, it was adorable. He's working it. Uh, so. <laughs> what, what would make his perfect home? Like kids, okay? Other dogs? Dogs or? Um, kids would be okay, yeah. older children. Mm -hmm. um, other dogs, he gets along great with other dogs his size. I think he kind of cowers down to the bigger ones. Certainly not aggressive at all, just a little fearful of them. That's totally opposite of some chihuahuas. If they're bigger ones, he'll rule the roost, but not oh, this Yeah, because they don't realize how, yeah. would the, how little they are. But yeah. But truly, any any home would be good for this dog. Now he is eight years old, which he doesn't look like it. He wow. still so looks he's like get a puppy. Bigger? No, no, he's just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna get That's bigger. a full size right here. Yeah, he's full grown. He's if you have a dog, bring it down to the shelter. Let's do the meet and greet just to make sure it's okay because ultimately you're picking your dog's friend. So maybe your dog wants another friend. So and he's pretty tiny, so you kind of have to be just a little careful if you have big feet. Oh, that's right. He is yeah. very tiny. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you'll crush him. Very you have a size yes. eleven or bigger. And <laughs> yeah, yeah you, be you, careful. You, you might cover. Yeah, him. always yeah. know where the dog is before you put your shoes on. Yeah, he's just one of many animals that you have over at the shelter. Absolutely, we have about eight hundred animals in our building at any given time, and not just dogs and cats. We've got rabbits, we've got hamsters, we have guinea pigs, we have, I believe, parakeets right now. We have turtles, we have fish. Turtles. We have, yeah. How do you take care of a turtle? Well, it depends. We have water turtles and we um, we have a box turtle right now, I believe. So just just different in environments. Do they like to burrow? Kind yes. Of dig? So you, do you have to have a yard then or some well, dirt in the Well, yes backyard? and no. The box turtles can live in a, a bigger aquarium environment, but they do like to burrow and be underground, yeah. under their things. There's a picture of how to like know where your turtle is at all times. Just tie a balloon to its shell. <laughs> You'll know. You'll just follow the balloon. Ah, there's the turtle. That's true. And you know, believe it or not, turtles are a lot quicker than people think really? they are. They think they're these little slow things. They have little bursts. They do. And the water turtles will actually chase you if they're oh, out. Oh, okay. yeah. how funny. <laughs> Uh, the need for volunteers always. Always. Yeah. We can always use volunteers. Our staff ultimately gets there and feeds and medicates and cares for these little guys. So we need volunteers to come up and take them out, take them for walks, put them in the courtyard, throw balls and toys with them. So if you've got some time, it would be great. Do your volunteers go through training? Yes, they come in every Saturday morning. There's a training class just just because we want to start you out gradually. We don't want to automatically put a novice one just with throw you in. Yeah, we don't just want to do that. with yeah. a bigger dog that will drag you down the street. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll start you with the littler dogs or the or the more calm or the older senior dogs before you graduate up. And uh, let's talk about uh, Kino. Kino was in the puppy bowl. Was he not great? It was phenomenal. Two and, touchdowns in a row. And he got ripped off. Kind of, you know what? Kind of like Edelman got ripped yeah. off during the big game. He didn't get the MVP, and neither did Kino. And I think it's an injustice. Kino he was, was the killer. only fluff to to score in the second half. Oh, but at least he got his own fire hydrant. Okay. Yes, That's he true. did. None of the other <laughs> dogs yes, got their own fire right hydrant. Now, fire That's so right. It's right in front of City Hall. Hall. Right in front of City Hall. And, and we're hoping only dogs will use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a joke there. Uh, Sweden from last week. What happened? The Winholm. Great. We Good news. Great. Oh, so. There we perfect. go. Oh, we're, put, we're putting we're a bit of honey to sleep. This little dog. Yeah, we'll keep our fingers <laughs> crossed. There was last week's puppy right there. So cute, too. Now, it. adopt a bit of honey today. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. For more information about him, just head to the website, call the number on your screen, or visit the shelter on Dewey Drive. They're also on Facebook and Twitter.